Hello and welcome back to Pocket Rockets and today we're going to be reviewing my third ever ignition model, the R34 GTR Z Tune Customized Edition. But before we get into that, yes, the kind of backstage, all of the GTRs are gone. So I'm going to show you kind of where they all gone and here it is. So I've kind of been shifting stuff around in my room and trying to find kind of a new sort of display. So here it is. The back is temporarily empty and I've set up this nice little kind of wall for them. So these are kind of my high end cars and uh, just the cars that I really, really like. So yeah, it's really pleasant to be able to see them all. So these are like, these are like, these racks are not just intended on um, model car stores. They're kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what they're for, but they can you, you can kind of lift these little plastic slots up and uh yeah, you can put a car in there. So yeah, it's really really convenient and I love this new display right here. So yeah, back to the review. That was kind of out of context, but yeah. This is my new car. This is the car we're going to review today. So as always, stunning package by Ignition Model. I almost say Inno 64. So I got this in a model car festival. No, not a model car festival, but a kind of a model car convention happened in Taipei. And uh, yeah, this was in their shop. They had a bunch of different types of cars. I actually bought two cars. So the first one is this one. And the second one is a 143 car made by Tarmac Works. It's the RWB993 with the um, Bird of Fire livery. I think that's how you say it. This is in Japanese, so I don't fully understand what this means, but uh, from my Chinese knowledge, uh, it says Bird of Fire. Yeah, we're just gonna, yeah, this is it. And it's really, really cool. So this is my first ever like collectible 143 car. I've had a few 143 cars, but they were mainly toys. So yeah, it's, it looks really, really nice just sitting on the table, so yeah. Here it is, the Ignition model, and this is my third ever Ignition model. The first one was the Pandem Civic. This one was a gift from my uncle, thanks. The second one, which I reviewed not so long ago, a Rydox Supra, and this thing actually has the same wheels as my Skyline right here. Check that out, same rims. So yeah, this is the Nismo. Z Tune customized variant. So what that means is there are two variants of this car. There is the Nismo variant, the Nismo Z Tune variant, and the um customized variant. So the customized one, which is this one, is basically a Z Tune but with like carbon fiber accents and new wheels. And let's crack this open. This stunning package, man. This this color combo is just so classy. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, it says limited production, which it says on all cars. Right, we're gonna free this car from this cage. Here we go. So, like most ignition models, it doesn't roll, which is kind of a bummer, but you know me, I'm gonna get this thing to roll. So I've already ordered some um, wheels for this, which are smaller than these current wheels, so that they will not rub against the real wheel well, and yeah, makes it roll. So. We're gonna basically go through this car's detail and what I like and what I don't like about it. And yeah, let's start. So the front, we have individual plastic lights for individual plastic pieces for the headlights, which is always sweet. And we have the GTR livery, beautifully branded there. Also, other than headlights. And the inner cooler, this thing is actually really, really cool because like you see some other inner coolers on diecast cars and they're just like a solid mass of silver. But this thing is not like that. It kind of has like some black accents and it just looks really realistic. But for the kind of the front grille right here, not so realistic with the matte paint. You can, when you shine it up to the light, you can kind of see the paint reflection. So not that great on the grille part. But yeah, the, I think the front highlight is really the carbon hood, which this has got to be one of the most convincing carbon I've ever seen on a diecast car. Like this is insane. Like this is this carbon is just so well made. So let let me get another car just for comparison. So this is Mini GT's carbon fiber, and just next to the ignition model's carbon fiber, it looks honestly like a joke. So oh, camera's not um focusing. There it is. All right, you know what? So yeah, this is the Mini GT carbon fiber, and it almost has like a weave quality to it. 
it just kind of looks like cloth, you know, because the carbon fiber accents, like, like their pattern is not really accurate with real carbon, but for the ignition model, man, does this thing look like real carbon. And uh, this this thing looks also looks like dry carbon, which from what I can tell is very, very expensive. So, oh my God, why is my hand so bright? There it is, that's much better. So yeah, the front, that's basically it. And uh, front, I think is an okay for me, still a bit, um, I mean, overall the car, like, so ignition model, like, their cars are very, very good quality, but if you ask me if they're worth, like, 35 US dollars, I would definitely say that they're not. There are definitely better deals, like, they are definitely better options if you want an R34 Skyline, like, in a 64, I don't know if they have an R34, but, uh, yeah, definitely igni ignition is, like, the top of the top of the mark so like their cars are really really high quality but their prices are also a bit high just like the quality so yeah moving on to the side so moving on to the side tampos are all there so you can see we have the gtr tampo right there wait this is not gtr tampo what is this tampo then and also the indicator tampo and the wheels are just this has literally got to be the most beautiful wheels i've ever seen on a diecast i mean these are just these are perfect. They're like the perfect blend between like kind of racing wheels and show wheels. And I just really, really like them. Ex like, especially for like the chrome lip on. Oh my God, this is just amazing. Amazing job, Ignition. And also one really, really good thing that they did is that they actually have silver accents on the mirrors, which I think is just crucial because like TLB, like their mirrors, don't have silver accents and that just really really annoy me because like when you're taking picture of the car like from this angle like the mirrors are just gonna be completely wet which is just completely unreasonable so yeah moving on to the rear the rear just very very well done so the part of the wing is part of the like the customization package sort of you get you also get a carbon wing which this carbon is also very just accurately depicted and uh, yeah the rear lights also individual plastic pieces and just all the tempos are there and I really really like this really like this number plate right here. It's just Z Z tune with kind of like the Z tune design. But this is where my first kind of well kind of my second complaint for the car. The first one is the fact that it does not roll. And this is where my second kind of quality complaint for the car. You see for the exhaust tip kind of the black so i think how they kind of made the black and the exhaust tip well it was supposed to be silver but like the black and the exhaust tip just obviously gives it a lot of depth but um i think what happened is that when the machine kind of pressed the black ink in when it just kind of got out the ink kind of trailed out so that's why the um exhaust tip is like weirdly black in a way but yeah Overall impression on the car, I think it's great. I mean, it's definitely a bit pricey, but uh, if you're like me and you are really, really kind of, you just can't ac accept like wrong proportions. Like proportions are a really, really important part of like diecast cars because like some diecast cars, their proportions are just completely wrong and it just completely messes up the whole whole car's stance. But I think. Um, Ignition model, like, one thing they've got above their competition is that the fact that their cars, they're, like, photorealistic to, the, like, not in, like, the terms of craftsmanship, but, like, just the proportions and the way everything adds up on their cars, it just looks like the real thing. Like, you can see for, like, some other Supras, like the Mini GT Supra, the car's proportion is kind of weirdly distorted. The car kind of looks too flat, but none of this, like, is the problem with like ignition their cars are like they're die cast so they have like a nice sort of weight onto them but they have like resin quality so i think that's a uh, one thing that uh, ignition truly has a competition beat and truly just truly just gets people to buy their cars because it's truly like like i i don't believe that you'll find this craftsmanship like anywhere else like you know probably but ignition just top of the line so yeah that's basically going to be my little review on the Ignition Model R34 GTR Z2 customization, or well, customized variant. I hope you enjoyed. This has been Pocket Rockets. You can find me on Instagram at PocketRocket64. And also, subscribe to the channel. I'm really, really happy. The channel has been growing a lot lately. <laughs>
well considering that i haven't posted in like two weeks so yeah thanks please go subscribe it really helps me out a lot it makes me really happy so yeah bye